four, three, two, one, check. Grant, is all of this really necessary? Absolutely. Okay, check hot water bottles. Here. Do I get to find out why we're doing this? In due course. Excellent. Okay, are we ready? I guess so. Let's go. the dyes into the water so we can track the currents around the shoreline. We call it dye tracking. But what are you trying to prove? I have a theory that plankton, which are the marine organisms at the bottom of the aquatic food chain. Uh, we know what plankton are, Grant. I'm trying to prove that plankton found around the shoreline aren't washed in with the tides like everybody thinks, but actually they originate there. Does this theory have a purpose? No, I'm just trying to add to the scientific body of knowledge. At your own expense. JL, the competition for research money is fierce. If I can show the aquarium that I'm interested enough in this project to invest in it myself, maybe they'll fund me. Maybe. information on the tanker hearings. Okay, I hope I can help. You're our expert witness, that's enough. All right, I'll look it over later, I'll give you a call. Thanks, Grant. Okay. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this preliminary research will inspire you to fund the more comprehensive project that I've outlined. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Roberts. Nice presentation. I think you impressed him. Thanks, George. I, uh, I think it went okay. Dr. Stanton, I'd like you to meet Grant Roberts. The board has asked Dr. Stanton to assess your project. Well, I'm honored, Dr. Stanton. Your research has been very helpful. Uh, yeah, and uh, Dr. Dunbar, could we uh, get on with this, if you don't mind? Of course. Come right in. Whatever did you do to Arnold Stanley? I never even met the man before today. Well, you must have done something. 
because the eminent Dr. Stanton just viciously shot your project full of holes. Why would he do that? I don't know. My work is actually a tribute to the man. Do you suppose he was trying to discredit you so he could get funded by the aquarium himself? Stanton's a star. He doesn't need the aquarium. Well, maybe he was jealous. Maybe he was trying to do the same thing and you beat him to it. His area is offshore plankton. Mine's inshore. Can you go back to the board and rebut what he said? I could if they asked me. But as far as I'm concerned, my work stands on its own. Good spaghetti, J.L. Thanks. Bad news? The journal I sent my article to, they're not going to publish it. Dr. Stanton is on their editorial board. I hate to add to your troubles, Grant, but uh, you better read this. It's a letter to the editor from Dr. Stanton, criticizing the aquarium board, quote, for its apparent willingness to fund hot water bottle tests, as he refers to them. I feel a responsibility to challenge the unscientific, far-fetched, and wholly inadequate work done by the flamboyant Dr. Roberts. I'm starting to get hit with some of the splash grant. What is this all about? In respect to the doctors, uh, eminent doctors' accusations, they are so general in nature that the thesis of my work Although called into question, it is never. Ted, come on in. I just dropped by to say not to uh, worry about the hearings. Uh, I know you're busy. Oh, I'll be happy to do it. Come on, we can Grant, go in. The... Grant, what I'm trying to say is that we'd rather not use you as our expert witness. Why? I'm sorry. Our feeling is that the Stanton thing could undermine your credibility and ours. has decided not to fund your project. Just like that? Dr. Stanton, isn't it? He obviously had an effect. So they're going to take the word of a stranger rather than mine, somebody who has proven himself to them on numerous occasions? Stanton is the expert in the field. The board is not saying they'll turn down a different project. Just this one. Do they realize they're not only killing an important piece of research, they're undermining my credibility? Grant, the feeling is, maybe on this one, you're on the wrong track. George, I stand by my work. Does the board of this aquarium stand with me or not? You're so stubborn. In this instance, they do not. Fine. Then I have no alternative, do I? quit. not the way to handle this, Grant. It's the only way I know to handle it, George. I'll be on call until you can find a suitable replacement.
Well, I can't get a hold of Jonah. The Forestry Service says he's in a very remote area. Well, he'll find out soon enough. Meanwhile, Grant, Harbor Air's doing fine, so you don't have to rush out and grab the first job that comes along. I'm not worried about money. Not yet, anyway. It's just not being at the aquarium that's going to take some getting used to. What are you going to do? I'll go to work for fisheries or the environment or a university. If I can't find work here, I'll, I'll just have to make some adjustments, that's all. This is the Roberts residence. No one is available to take your call right now. Please leave your message right after the tone. Hi, Grant. This is George, again. Please, give me a call. I need to talk to you. I'm worried about Dad. He's just a bit lost. I know it's unfair, but I can't help being angry at George. It's not his fault. He could have done something. How do you know he hasn't? Anyway, you don't hear your father blaming him. That's because he's been beaten down. Your dad? Don't be too sure of that. What's happening? Grant, what's going on? I'm going back through my research. I've got to find out if I was wrong. At two in the morning? I'm going back to bed. I'll put some coffee on. Thanks, Jail. I've been over my data, forwards and backwards, and I'm convinced that I'm right. Well, why don't you tell that to Dr. Stanton? I have. I called him aboard his research vessel this morning. And? He wouldn't discuss it. Said if I bothered him again, he'd complain to the authorities. What has he got against you? That's what I have to find out. Hello? Yeah, wait a sec. Dad, it's George. He says he has to talk to you. I'm not going to ask you to come back. It's just as well. I wouldn't hesitate for a moment if I thought you'd say yes. Not without the support of the board. Which is not forthcoming. Well, then we don't have anything to talk about, do we? Yes, we've got something to talk about. Who do you think's the big loser in all of this, huh? The aquarium. Well, that sounds pretty good, George. Why don't you tell it to the board? Just because I have a board to report to doesn't mean I share their sentiments. There's an old saying, don't shoot the messenger. You're right, George. I'm sorry. Grant, I told you before, I think you're going about this the wrong way. By resigning, you've given your detractors more reason to doubt your credibility. However, if you won't, can't do it my way, then I'll do it yours. Either way, Grant. I can help. This is where we start. And exactly what are we looking for? Anything and everything to do with Dr. Stanton and his work. His credentials are impeccable, Grant. Oh, the man has paid his dues. And he had a research grant canceled on him once, just like you. Well, he must have continued his research because after that he won the Stoneman Prize. His funding was cut off, but he was able to continue his research? How? Well, maybe these will tell us. Listen, 
I've got to get some sleep. I've got an early appointment tomorrow. Okay, I'll be home soon. Oh, let's call it a night, George. <clears throat> I don't know what you expect to find in those things, anyway. This is interesting. It was the Trident Institute that came to Stanton's rescue when the government canceled his research. I've never heard of them. Me neither. And I pride myself on knowing every potential source of funding in the scientific world, so I've been going over the list of corporate sponsors. Look at this. The Trident Institute is funded largely from a single source, a multinational company called Sea Line Tankers. Why would a tanker company be interested in plankton? Wait a minute. George. Come on. I was supposed to attend an environmental hearing as an expert witness. Something about uh, tankers. The hearings were being held in response to an application for increased tanker traffic from guess who, George? Sea line tankers. Great. I'm glad you two are back. I have some news. They're covering the hearings in the paper. Guess who Sea Lion Tanker's expert witness is? Dr. Arnold Stanton. Interesting, isn't it? Obviously, Stanton's motive all along was to discredit Grant as an expert witness. But to go to those lengths, surely he realized Grant would just be replaced by another witness. There must have been something that threatened Sea Lion Tanker's application that only Grant would know. Yes, but what? Aha! Uh -huh. Got him! Time to have a showdown with the eminent Dr. Stanton. Grant. How's it going? Not too great. You gotta let me testify. Well, that's impossible. Listen, Stanton may be the expert on plankton, but did you know that he's been on Sea Line Tanker's payroll for years? You gotta let me testify. It's the only way. It's too late. We've already given our presentation. By canceling your appearance, we played right into their hands, didn't we? Well, ask the committee if you can put on another witness. Oh, we've already tried that once. Stanton speaks this afternoon, and that'll be it. He hasn't made his presentation yet. He's supposed to go first. Sea Lion said he could only appear this afternoon, so we agreed to go first. And give them the last word. They suckered us there, too, didn't they? Well, don't worry, Ted. They may have outsmarted themselves. Let me cross-examine Stanton. But you haven't been following the hearings. There are transcripts of everything that's been said. I'll be ready. Now, what if the worst should happen. What if, despite all our precautions, all the safety valves, all the contingencies, there were to be a spill? An unfortunate event? Yes. An environmental catastrophe? No, because we have the technology to clean it up. We have the great natural regenerative powers of the ocean to renew the environment. And we have the promise of sea line tankers who are committed to underwriting the costs. Now, I think that's a pretty good demonstration of corporate responsibility. That concludes my presentation, Madam Chairman, and I thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Dr. Stanton. Mr. Murdoch, does your group wish to question Dr. Stanton? We do. Madam Chairman, our cross-examination will be conducted by Dr. Grant Roberts. Dr. Roberts, if you've come here expecting to discredit me and repair your own damaged reputation, I... Uh... On the contrary, Dr. Stanton, I would be the first to acknowledge your competency. It's vital to our case. Dr. Stanton argues that there will be no damage to the environment because Sea Line Tankers is willing to underwrite the cost of any major spillage. I mean, what more do you ask? Nothing, if it was based on accurate research. What do you mean? Dr. Stanton, isn't it true? 
that for the past 20 years, your work has been funded by sea line tankers. I object. Indirectly. Indirectly. My work stands no matter who funded it. Now, you come here making innuendos to discredit me while you provide no proof of your own work. Your work is proof of my work, Dr. Stanton. I was limited by budget to inshore waters while you were free to roam the oceans of the world, building your store of knowledge about plankton. But never once, in the massive samplings you took, did you turn up an inshore species. Because you knew that inshore species originate inshore, they are not replenished by the ocean, and they cannot regenerate themselves if they're destroyed. You knew that before I did. That's preposterous. If there were such a discovery, why wouldn't I want to claim it? Dr. Stanton, you are risking your entire contribution to the scientific world, your life's work, because it isn't in the best interest of your sponsor. Is it worth it? Stanton? Oh, I told you, Mr. McDonald, we'd only be buying time. Stanton, shut up. Mr. McDonald, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave the hearing room. My entire research program has been canceled. Sea Lion at least offered me a chance to do something. I knew it would happen. I, I just didn't want to think about it. I'm sorry, Dr. Stanton. I really am. I really thought Stanton would bluff it all the way to the end. No, I think he's an honorable man at heart. Anyway, it's over. Grant, I really think you should call George. I resigned. I can't pretend it didn't happen. Oh, I don't know. Sounds pretty good to me. George. Well, since we haven't had a board meeting since you resigned, I, uh, <clears throat> I never showed it to them. Take it back before I change my mind. Huh. On two conditions. One, that you get another research application in before the next board meeting. Two, that your glassy-eyed daughter stop glaring daggers at me. Sorry, George. 